good morning uh, today my topic is lecture number 19 single phase induction motor construction and its working principle it comes under the module number 3 single phase induction motor normally the single phase induction motor is operated by using a single phase ac supply which is commonly used for lighting purposes in shops offices houses schools etc and also it is used in domestic applications grinder mixers washing machines etc hence instead of dc motors the motor which work on single phase ac supply which are properly used these ac motors are called single phase induction motor a large number of domestic applications which uses the single phase induction motor the power rating of this motor are very simple some of them are a fractional horsepower motors which are used in small toys small fans hair dryers etc the basic construction features of this induction motor it is having the two parts one is stator another one is rotor whatever the construction which is applicable to three phase induction motor the same construction only here also it is applicable okay here in uh, normal in dc motor there will be a one is rotating another one is uh, stationary okay another one is a stationary part is available okay a rotating means it will be armature in dc motors it is armature and a stationary means a field winding okay rotating means armature and the station at here it is fit okay like that in three phase induction motor rotating means rotor stationary means stator in transformer st both are stationary because rotating and the station both are stationary parts so there are primary and secondary like that in single phase induction motor also the stator is stationary member rotor is the rotating part okay now the stator this is the stator okay this is a, you are seeing this is a stator this stator has laminated construction okay here there will be a large number of stampings or slotted to carry the windings okay here only the windings are there here only the windings are available okay so in this portion the windings are available it will be like this okay and it will be called as main winding okay the stator winding called as main winding and this main winding will be excited okay which will be given a single phase ac supply okay ac supply we have to give okay phase motor okay ac supply we have to give now this laminated construction keeps ion losses to a minimum okay why why it is minimum means the stampings are made up of a yes, silicon steel materials okay silicon steel materials which minimizes the hysteresis losses because of minimizing the hysteresis losses so the ion losses will be minimum okay the ion losses will be minimum are you understand my point okay now the stator winding have yeah, definite number of poles because number of poles will be four okay definite number of poles when excited by a single phase ac supply okay now the stator produces when you give the single phase ac supply the stator which produces the magnetic field which create a definite number of poles okay the number of poles for which the stator winding okay is decides the synchronous speed okay like that whatever the concept which we are seeing in three phase induction motor the same concept only here also we are doing it okay the relationship here it is ns is equal to 120 fs by p okay ns is equal to 120 fs by p where ns is the synchronous speed fs is the supply frequency in hertz p is the number of poles okay now this induction motor uh, never rotates with the synchronous speed but rotates its speed that is less than synchronous speed that is the three phase induction motor is called as asynchronous motor the single phase induction motor is also called asynchronous motor okay in stator we are setting the ns in rotor we are setting the nr okay now when we come to the rotor structure the rotor is made up of screw cage type okay screw cage type this rotor consists of uninsulated copper or aluminum bars placed in the slots okay these bars are permanently 
okay shot at at each end with the help of conducting rings called end rings okay this is nothing but end rings and these are nothing but yeah bars okay bars or we can say it will be a slot okay there are 36 slots or 36 bars are available okay the entire structure it will be look like a cage that is known as screw cage motor okay that is known as screw cage motor principle of operation principle of operation here we are giving a single phase ac supply to the stator winding the stator winding is other name called as a main winding inside there will be a rotor here there is a shaft okay inside there will be a rotor then there will be a shaft okay so here only in stator winding only we have to set ns ns is equal to 120 fs by p okay for example if ns is 1500 rpm okay and the nr rotor speed which we are going to measure in the shaft rotor speed the nr is 1490 rpm okay maybe slightly less than synchronous speed it is almost a 10 to 20 percentage bit lesser okay for so for motoring op operation in dc motors there exist two fluxes okay one flux will be produced in the uh, field winding okay Field winding means main flux will be produced. In armature, when you give the DC supply given to the armature, which produces the armature flux. Okay. In DC motor, there are two windings are there. One is field winding, another one is armature winding. In field winding, produce field flux or main flux. In armature winding, we have to give a separate DC excitation. Through DC, there will be a armature flux is produced. Okay, these two fluxes, main flux and the armature flux, which interact with each other, then the torque is produced. Okay, then the torque is produced. Like that, in single phase induction motor also, there will be a single phase AC supply given to the stator winding. Okay, you have to give a single phase AC supply, okay, 230 volt. 230 volt you are giving so for example the current will be 2 ampere is flowing okay this is nothing but winding okay winding means number of turns okay so when the current is flows in the number of turns okay then a flux lines will be flowing okay which will be interacting the rotor and then there will be a magnetomotive force is produced okay magnetic force is nothing but number of turns into current because this is nothing but my current okay magnetic force is produced okay so this magnetic force which produces a flux which produces a flux wow means magnetic force is directly proportional to flux but inversely proportional to the reluctance okay this is my relationship okay so once you give the current is flowing alternating current is carries the stator winding which produces a flux that flux is known as main flux okay main flux is produced in stator winding okay so this flux links with the rotor conductor okay these are all the rotor conductors okay these are all rotor conductors and due to transformer action transformer action and emf is induced in the rotor okay so this induced emf which carries a current through the rotor that is nothing but rotor current as as a closed circuit okay as there will be a closed circuit so this rotor current produces another flux called rotor flux so in stator winding there will be a main flux in rotor winding there will be a main flux okay here there will be a main flux is produced okay in rotor winding there will be a rotor flux is produced okay so this rotor flux required motoring action okay thus the second flux which produces according to the induction principle due to induced emf hence a motor is known as induction motor as against this is 
a DC motor, a separate supply is required to the armature to produce the armature piece. This is a difference between DC motor and induction motor. Okay, in DC motor, you have to give a separate DC supply to the armature. Okay, armature. Then only the armature flux is produced. But here, you are, we are not giving any separate supply to the rotor. Okay. That is the difference. Without supply, there will be a rotor flux is produced. This is a basic difference between DC motor and an induction motor. Okay. Thank you.